The second part to the Facebook app equation is setting up a web host. Let's take a minute to talk about the kind of host you'll need, as well as the process for creating apps and some of the software you'll use. There are lots of different types of servers and many plans you can use to host your Facebook applications. Developers need just a few critical features to create apps on their server. First, you'll need a server with the ability to run PHP. PHP is a server-side language that allows the server to process certain files before you send them to a client. Even if you're only using the Facebook JavaScript API, you'll need to be able to do certain things with PHP. Facebook itself is written in PHP and is the largest PHP installation on the planet. And although the JavaScript API is sometimes easier to work with, it's always good to have both options available. You'll need to set up an FTP account and download an FTP client. There's a lot of capable FTP applications. If you're in a Mac, you might want to check out Transmit. It's what I use for most of my project. And although it's not free, it's a super reliable and very capable FTP client. If you're in a Mac or a PC and are looking for a free application, then check out Cyberduck. It's a pretty capable FTP client that works on both Macs and PCs. Also, both of these, Transmit and Cyberduck, are available in the Mac App Store. As of last October, Facebook requires that you install or have an SSL certificate available on your server. An SSL certificate will allow you to create more secure connections between Facebook and your sites. Most web hosts will not provide an SSL certificate by default, so it's an add-on on most beginners or low-cost plans. There's not a lot of setup involved other than purchasing the certificate and pointing it to your domain. So let me go into the one-on-one -on -one control panel that I use for a lot of sites, and I'm going to go to the domain section right here. So I'm going to click on this. And if I have an SSL certificate installed, I should see an SSL button here in the navigation. This is one of the entry level plans on this particular domain. So it's not available right now. So if I want to add it, I need to go back into the start menu and click on order more features under contract data. From here, you want to go to the dedicated SSL plan right here. So click on that, it'll open up a new window. So from here, you want to scroll down a little bit and find the section called SSL certificate. You add an SSL certificate just by selecting one right here and clicking on this button. And once you go through the process of paying that, you'll be able to go back into your control panel and see the button for SSL under your domains. So back over here, and you just see an additional button called SSL right there. And all you do is click on a domain that you want to add the SSL plan to, and then click on the SSL and add the domain there. So it's really, really simple to set up. If you need more information about setting up and working with web hosts or using FTP applications, make sure you check out my course on managing a hosted website on the lynda.com online training library. One thing that is different about working with Facebook apps is that they need to be on a live server that Facebook has access to in order to work. When we develop normal websites, we usually work on a local machine, say your laptop or your desktop. When you're finished, you usually upload the finished files to your server where people can access them from the web. With Facebook, you usually load files from your live server, edit them in a text editor, and then save them back to your server. If you've got questions about how to do this, make sure you watch the movie called Creating a Workflow on Managing a Hosted Website. It's right here. To edit the files, you can use a number of text editors. I like to use a program on my Mac called Espresso from MacRabbit but you can use any text editor at your disposal. If you're on a Mac, you might want to check out Text Wrangler. It's a free and very capable text editor that is available on the Mac App Store. As you get deeper into web development, you also might want to check out its cousin, BB Edit, which has better web features. If you're on a Mac or PC, you might want to check out Aptana Studio. It's a really nice free open source editor, and I really like its code assist features. I like another text editor that also works on Macs or PCs called Sublime Text. It really doesn't matter which text editor you use as long as it's something that you're comfortable with. Pick one and make sure you learn its shortcuts and advanced features. Once you have your server with the right installations and software, you're ready to get started developing your Facebook applications.